All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Friday Fright series where I take a look at an interesting horror game that I've found online recently. And for today's episode, we are having a gander at Dungeon Nightmares 2, which is currently on Steam Greenlight, as you can see right here, and being created by K Monkey. And uh, the basic concept of this game is uh, you go to bed and find yourself in an endless nightmare that you have to escape from. A uh, concept and uh, sort of plot that we have seen in multiple games that we've looked at on this channels in the past. So I'm intrigued to see what their take is. I can definitely say right now their graphics look Probably the best of those that I have seen in a while. A lot of these uh, games we look at on here are not usually the prettiest. This, though, looks like it has quite a good aesthetic to it. And I'm liking the sort of tilting hallway here. Very good. Though, I must say, marks off for no options menu here. You know me. I love a good options menu. Now, this is a Unity game, and so we do get the standard Unity launcher to select resolution and basic graphic options. But nothing here, which means most likely when we jump in, as is almost always the case, the mouse will probably be way too sensitive. Uh, I don't know why that always seems to be a thing, but it always seems to be a thing. So let's just jump right on in to a new game. And oh boy, that was loud. I need to turn my headphones down here. There we go. Oh, we have an alarm. An all too familiar sound for us all. Oh, the horror. Okay, 6th of November, 7.34 p.m. What am I doing here? I don't know. What are you doing here? Ooh, actually, the mouse is not too fast. Nice. It's actually at a very good point. All right. You may have lost points for having no options menu, but you've gained points for having sensible mouse movement. The last few games I've played on this channel for Friday Fright have not had sensible mouse movement. So what do you, what do, you do? You are a broken radio. Lovely drawer that sounds like a roar. Ha! <laughs> Light. Excellent. Ooh, that's pretty. Can we crouch? No. Can we jump? No. We can walk. Can we? No, we can't seem to shift sprint. We appear to be in a really, really dingy hotel room. Okay, let's turn on the TV. Hmm, fuzz. But at least it's light. Not a whole lot of light being produced by those lamps, though I am liking the effect of the uh, the lampshade actually kind of seeing through it a bit. That is that is cool. I like that. So far, very good texturing. Modeling looks good. Lighting, very nice and ambient. Uh, let's see. Can I... Anything in the trash can? No. And that is as, actually as far as I can look down. Hmm. Intriguing. Hello? Anyone in the bathroom? No? Can I turn on the light? Is there a light switch? Ah, uh, We can flush the toilet! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, the little touches. You! Close! No, I'm not seeing a light switch anywhere in here. Oh my god, turn that off. It's getting really annoying. Um... Yeah, we can't get in the shower. Alright. Back open with you. Not seeing any other light sources, so I guess... Oh, actually, let's check this other drawer. Maybe there's something in here. No. And that is a really loud drawer. Oh, my God. No, nothing there. Okay, let's... Let's carry on. Anyone in the hallway? Of this really, really dingy hotel. Hello, creepy... Yeah, did someone leave this bear behind? Well, yeah, clearly, because there's a, a teddy bear sitting on a chair where no one else is around. Clearly someone left it. Can we open these doors? Nope. Cannot go in right now. Ooh. Nope. I don't have the key. Oh, so now that one back there said I couldn't go in it yet. This one said I need a key. That one's just locked, so we'll probably never be able to go in there. Oh god, the head bob. Locked. Locked. Yeah, can't sprint or jump or anything. Ugh. I always dislike when they take away mo basic movement. That is a rusty elevator. 
Should we investigate one of these hallways? Yeah, let's go to the right. I cannot sprint or anything. This is the only speed we can move. Locked. Locked. That's a loud door sound. Getting very dark down here, too. Hmm. Good ambient sounds. We've got footsteps. Always a plus. Very nice. Oh, bugs, too. Nice. Very good texturing. They did a very good job on that. And we seem to have some sort of filter, too. I kind of noticed that things looked a bit grungier than they should. But yeah, when you look at that light, eh, there seems to be some sort of filter adding some, like, speckling. I don't know if it'll come through on the YouTube video. We'll have to see, but let's check any of these doors. Can they open? No. No. And... Nope. Nope. And I can't open this either. Why are there bars here? What kind of hotel are we in? <laughs> oh, he's sure he saw something move? Because I didn't see anything move. It is extraordinarily dark in here. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, well, let's check out this really rusty elevator. Yeah, it's hard to see very far in this. I'll definitely have to turn up the brightness. Maybe I'll see it move when I'm in editing later. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're getting bass sounds. I think it might have just been because of the doors. Hello, elevator. I don't know if I want to get in there. That doesn't look like it's up to code. <laughs> Man, look at this thing. That is... Oh, boy. I've seen dumb waiters that look better than this, but oh well. Let's get in. Oh, yay. It closed by itself, because that's not a bad sign for us. And our continued survival. Oh, it's getting dark. And... Spooky thing. Maybe. Anything? We just have a black screen right now. Oh, oh, there we go. See, to spark a light, we have no candles. Oh, so we need to find candles. Intriguing. Oh, oh my, so we can, like, do a quick flash. Ow, that, that hurt my eyes, lovely. And now we're in sewers. Okay, find the artifact and exit. We have a map? Wait until you get off the elevator. Oh, okay. I'm off the elevator. Now can I look at the map? I can't. Oh, boy, it's a 3D map. Oh, oh, jeebus. <laughs> okay. All right, well, let's turn that off. You, candles. Hello. Flash. So let's see. Oh, we can sprint now. Kind of. He found me. He found me. Oh, no. Okay, so we actually seem to have more movement now. We can jump. We can sprint. Oh, oh, crap. I saw skeletons. Um, hi? Hi? The, why is there just like a skeleton over there? Hello? Who are you? Can we have a chat? No? Hello? Hi! Oh, there's actually timing for that. Uh, This was used for a pulling... Okay, okay. A bit of blood can be seen. Hello, skeleton. You scared the crap out of me. Bodhi? <laughs> oh, oh, we actually have a little timer thing. Intriguing. It's not just on chest, but also on doors. Let's open this. Whoa, yeah, God. <laughs> oh. Why would someone leave their clothes here? I don't know, but my candle also went out. Is there another candle nearby? Creepy things. Hello? Alright, so we got a new candle. That's good. Oh, why are all these doorways guillotines? I didn't notice that before. Alright, we have a new candle. Let's go, well, let's continue this way. Candles do not last long. 
This looks... Oh, I hear someone. Hello? Who's home? Ooh. Oh, more candles. Excellent. Oh, we can blow them out, too. No one can hear you scream down here. Oh, okay. Intriguing. Do I need a new candle? Oh, no, I'm still going because it's giving me the B to blow out. So I guess, yeah, we can't light a new one yet. Hearing chains rattling. Very good ambience to all this. Nice little fog. Just the right amount of light, honestly. And the candle light is quite good. Effective at adding to the atmosphere. Very good sounds. Texturing, modeling, all good. Oh, we need a new one. Oh, and what was that base? Oh. Oh, God. What the hell? <laughs> oh, this is a good, scary game. Oh, man. Oh, jeez, oh, it's another skeleton. Hi, Boney. You're a new one. Nothing special about this skeleton until he kills us. All right, let's open up this chest. More candles, please. No, we just have bloody crap. Level. Oh, dear God, what the hell was that? <laughs> okay. Yeah. This game, man, this is by far one of the best scary games we've played on here in a long time. Oh, and what the crap is that sound? Oh boy, yeah, this is good. <laughs> Definitely in need of a green l- Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the skeleton went, uh, weeping angel on me. Oh boy. Okay, running away. Oh, jeez, that was good. Go, oh, dear God! <laughs> Normally, these sorts of ga these uh, horror games we play on here don't get to me, but this one is doing a great job. We're back to the elevator. Intriguing. I mean, I oh, jeez, I'm genuinely scared in this. It's doing quite a good job. And what the hell was that sound? Ah, <laughs> oh, this is good. I this game needs green lighting. I am going to go going to have to go and add my vote to it. And so should all of you. And I am actually going to end this here because I don't want to spoil too many of these scares. If you would like to go and give this a try for yourselves, you can follow the link in the description. I would definitely say to go and do that, because my god, this is really well done. Like I said, most of the horror games we play on here, they're honestly more funny than scary, because, you know, they're trying to be scary just a bit too much. This one, though, this is genuinely quite terrifying i'm enjoying myself with it so yeah definitely go give this a try uh, if you like it go and support them on green light once again this has been dungeon nightmares 2 uh, by k monkey and uh yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video and of course that you come back for the next but until then thank you for watching my friends and as always have a good one also send help i'm in a dungeon trapped Please, someone come and save me from the skeletons that appear to have weeping angel qualities. Oh god, it's getting dark again. Bye.